it's Miss Lisa from the Cornell Public Library. Today I wanted to share my recipe for icebox cake. Um, this was a summer staple growing up for, uh, for me. Um, my mom used to make it for big family parties. It's super simple, a lot of fun, and it tastes really good. Um, it's three ingredients. It's uh, whipped cream, strawberries, and graham crackers. Um, super simple, a lot of fun to put together. Um, you will need an adult, an adult to help you with this uh, because we do have to slice the strawberries. So a knife is being used. And also, um, if you're making your own whipped cream, you need to use a mix, a hand mixer or this mixer. Um, so you need an adult to help you with that. Um, and as we do all our recipes, make sure you wash your hands. I just wash my hands really good because we are working with food. Okay, super simple to put together. I made my own uh, whipped cream. Um, my Everyone has different types of recipes. Mine's just the basic one. It was a pint of uh, heavy whipping cream, um, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of powdered sugar, and just a hint of salt, just a little pinch of salt. Um, another thing that I like to do is I put my mixing bowl and also the, the beater that I'm using. I throw it in the fridge or the freezer for about 10 minutes prior to making the whipping cream this way. The bowl is really cold, this is really cold, and it just helps it, the, the whipping cream, everything will whip really quickly and you get, just comes out a lot better and a lot quicker. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it together. You need a nine by 13 glass pan, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you layer it and how you put it together, okay? So let me take this beater off. So the first thing you do is you take some of your whipped cream and like I said, I made my own, or you can use store-bought, that's fine. So the first layer is a very thin layer at the bottom of your dish. Oops, I just need a little bit more. So you're gonna spread this in the bottom of your pan. Okay. And you need about a, a box of graham crackers or about, um, three of these and it's okay if they're broken because we're gonna we can piece them together so what you're gonna do is just place them down like so do, do, do. okay just place them right into the cream and then I also have these little guys that I had to break to kind of fit in over here that is little tiny guys there too to fit that in okay just kind of push it down a little bit and then you're going to add another layer of cream oh this is so good just put that right over the graham crackers try to cover them as best you can just need a little bit more in there Now we're gonna put our sliced strawberries. So this is about um, four cups of sliced strawberries. So you make sure you wash them and slice them. I try to slice them as thin as possible so you can get a nice layer. Just kind of spread them out a little bit. It does not have to be perfect. This is a very forgiving recipe. That's why I love it. Oh, these strawberries smell delicious. So you layer that in there. Again, does not have to be perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna put another layer of cream over that. Spread that over. And then what you're going to do is you're going to layer it again. You're going to start the layers over again. You're going to start with the graham crackers again, put cream, put your strawberries, put more cream. We always finish with the cream on top and then you can sprinkle it with strawberries on top. Then what you do is you just cover it with saran wrap. I actually have a cover for this. I just cover it, put it in the fridge. Um, you can put it in the fridge for um, at least two hours or it can be overnight. Take it out and Enjoy it, it's wonderful. You wanna use it within the next two or three days after you make it because then it gets super soggy and then it's not so enjoyable. 
So I hope you try this recipe. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.